So I'm going to show you guys how I make my vegan esquite or corn in a cup as I've heard to it referred to around here where I'm at. Um, and it's pretty simple, straightforward, and it's really good. So a couple of things that you're going to need, obviously you're going to need vegan mayo and my favorite is just mayo, especially because these come in like larger tubs and the smaller ones and I kind of go through, through them a little quick so that's pretty convenient. And then also the follow your heart parmesan cheese. Um, this one's really good too. I like it. Um, I know that the the cheese, at least here in California, sometimes can be a little more expensive or expensive to me. So this one is definitely optional. Um, and then of course you're going to need corn. And I'm using corn in a can because it's not in season right now. But normally I would definitely go buy the corn and steam it or boil it, um, whatever you call it. But um, yeah, I prefer that. Obviously, it's a lot quicker and faster to do this and a lot less messy, but it's totally up to you. And of course, my twist on it is I use the um, chip topping, so I, I like to use a Dorito glaze. Obviously, you can tell because this bag is kind of non-existent anymore. Um, but yeah, I really like those and I feel like they add so much flavor. So even if you wanted to leave out like the vegan cheese, you can definitely get your chips or any chips that you like. And I think it definitely adds so much flavor to it. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and start rinsing the corn um, because we don't know what's in here. Just kidding, it's water. And then you can go ahead and transfer the corn to a bowl and start by scooping in mayo. Um, I don't have measurements for literally anything, but that's only because it's up to preference. Like I prefer a little more mayo and I know some people don't. And then you can go ahead and start sprinkling in the cheese. You could sprinkle it in, in now and mix it up or just do it at the end. It's up to you. Um, I just really like adding as much as I can. Adding, adding, adding. Next, you want to start by crushing up the chips. And the reason you don't want to leave full size chips or big pieces is because they will stab you when you're biting into it and unfortunately I know that from experience so try to get um, these as small as possible so basically I don't um, add the chips to the top of the of the corn before serving only because the chips will get soggy so you want to leave the chips on the side um, so you can just add it when you're gonna eat it because if you don't finish it all you want to store it the it's just gonna get really soggy chips on top and it's not gonna taste good um, so the most exciting part here is adding the blazed chips to the corn and you can add like I said before I don't have measurements for anything so you can add as much as you like I love to add a lot and that's pretty much it. It's ready to eat. 